what were some of the main reasons why you joined the Lakers? Um, just to be on a team where I could be one game out of our Now, how much did LeBron actually recruit you? Kevin Pritchard, the Pacers president, said, hey, he, he went after Lance pretty hard. Is that true? Uh, definitely, but uh, it was basically on you know, my decision and wanted to be on a team where they uh, allowed me to be myself and help win and um, just having having fun and uh, also playing with one of the greatest players in the game. You say be yourself. What, what do you mean by that? Just let me play. Let me, let me have fun. That's important, isn't it? Yeah, it's very important. Uh, just just playing with a group of guys that, that can help me out and uh, that just want to win. When you heard from LeBron, was it kind of funny? Because you and he had some pretty public playoff battles over the years. It was uh, it was funny, but uh, just to have the opportunity to play with him and uh, on the floor with him and win games with him and compete with him, it's very exciting for me. So I'm very, I'm very excited for the season. I just can't wait. What do you think of the Lakers' young core right now? Oh, man. I, it's just uh, playing against them, it was tough. Uh, the guys were very hungry. I see a lot of potential, and uh, I think the guys are very, very excited to also play with LeBron and, and uh, win games this year. So I think uh, this team is going to be good. Have you talked to any of the young guys yet? Kind of reached out to them? Or? I'm really cool with uh, uh, Cruz. And, um, I'm going to see him probably in like three, three more hours. So we're going to get up and uh, talk a little bit and uh, get ready for the season. He had a big breakthrough year. He's only a rookie, right? Drafted 27th overall, made first team all rookie. He had a nice season, didn't he? Definitely. Uh, everybody definitely underestimated him. And he put very well wrong by working hard. I mean, being in the gym, uh, getting with the coaching staff. So I feel like he, he improved a lot this year. How do you know him? Uh, we, we, we actually worked out two years ago together at uh, Impact in Vegas. So. I already knew what his game was like before he even got drafted. I just, nobody else knew about it. Now they know. <laughs> so you knew the surprise was coming? Yeah, I, I already knew. How do you see yourself fitting in with this team? It's a nice blend of veterans and young players, too. Um, just bringing that aggressive attitude with that winning mentality, um, having fun out there, and um, just like competing and winning games. So I definitely need to help with that. Will you maybe, for fun, at practice one day, just blow in LeBron's ear? <laughs> Nah. <laughs> nah. That's over. <laughs> so, what about the other vets? You've got Rondo here, uh, Contavious Caldwell Pope. Uh, pretty, pretty good players in, in their own right. Uh, definitely. Uh, Rondo is definitely one of the best player, uh, point guards uh, in the game. And, uh, he's a, got the same mentality I have and want to win. Um, smart point guard. can see the flow well. Always in great shape. I mean, just that competitiveness that he has, and also a winning, he's a winning. Well, that's Stevenson. You know, on his interview talking about the Los Angeles Lakers. But he was also saying how the Pacers president said how LeBron was very adamant in recruiting Stevenson to the team. So that gives volume to what we've been telling people all along of LeBron's involvement as far as recruiting players to come to join him while he was there. So this goes a long way to backing up our story of LeBron being very active in the recruitment process more than the Lakers coming to him. These are the players, once again, that LeBron James are picking to be on his team. So it's all about management just going out to get him for him. So once again, we're right back into that LeBron James dominating system. Now, if these players don't perform, are we gonna say LeBron ain't got no help? LeBron ain't don't LeBron picked these people. So half of the blame should go on him. Y'all love to blame the general manager. What about him? He's trying to be coach, GM, president of the team, player, and then so. So, on that note, I say he's got a lot of big shoes to fill. Stevenson was never a guy that's going to go out there and dominate a game. 
Been a good guy that can come off the bench. Um, good team leader, but never a guy that could just dominate night after night after night. So, very interesting to see what other pieces they put together.